What's up guys, back with the SRT4 today. Today I'm going to be installing a catless down device. My name is Zach Ellis and welcome to my journey. I don't know where I'm going or how I'm going to get there, but I'm going to be tearing shit up every step of the way. Along with a few friends of course. Honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I'll be building, modifying, repairing, fabricating, and racing every chance I get. <laughs> but if you enjoy this content, don't forget to smash the subscribe button and of course, enjoy the video. As you can see, I've already got the car up on jack stands and I've already done a little bit of work to the car. Um, this car has, I got it with 68,000 miles on it, I think, and I'm sitting at 80,000 now. Um, the exhaust is stock from factory, so the bolts are all effed up. Um, or the nuts, I should say. So I'll take you under there, let you see what I've got going on so far, and kind of tell you my next steps that I'm going to take to get that thing out of there. So you see right there, this is the flange where the downpipe, which is... Let me see if I can get another hand up in there. So downpipe, this portion here is the uh, O2 housing, or O2 pipe, whatever O2 manifold, whatever you want to call it. So you can see bolt number one, I broke it off. Second bolt over there, I broke it off. Third one up here is so stripped, um, just it, it's so corroded that when I put a socket on it, it pretty much whittled away to just a little metal nub. So I'm gonna have to cut that off with a saw. And then there's a bolt on the top side, which I've got to get from the top side. Once I get those off, I'll pull the downpipe out of the way, which there's a, a exhaust clamp right there, just down past the cat. I'm gonna have to get that off. Um, it looks like it's so corroded. I'll try to unbolt it, but most likely I'll end up just cutting it off because I don't feel like fucking with it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead, most likely, I'm going to go ahead and most likely cut that bolt right there off, right there, uh, with a cutoff wheel. And then I'll go to the top side. I'll make an attempt at getting that one, but I'm not against hacking that thing off either. <laughs> There's no shame in my game. I'm going to cut that bitch off. I did actually order a new O2 housing, uh, the 3-inch one. So um, I don't know if it's going to be here sooner or later. If it's not here soon enough, I'm just going to put the Catless downpipe onto the stock O2 housing. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and hop back on it and see what I can get done. Also, a little update here in the garage. We moved our heater. So the heater's over here. Got a little fan blowing the heat down. And then we got Ryan's box in here, along with a bunch of tools and stuff, creepers. I've been working on uh, moving blankets. Just because if anybody's ever worked in a garage that's not insulated or heated or anything, the floor is, it's like laying on a, a cold stone. It's so freaking cold. So I lay on these to keep myself from freezing to death, even though it's warm in here. And then also I'm like super allergic to dust. So when I land here and I get dust down my butt crack, uh, I get an itchy crack the rest of the day. So to mitigate that, I just lay on the moving blankets. Alright, so I got all the exhaust flint connectors disconnected. So you can see this hanger right here. You can see this hanger right here, I disconnected it. So I disconnected the forwardmost hanger. It was pretty simple, I just used channel lock. The way I disconnected it, I ended up just using channel locks. Uh, I forgot my dang hanger tool at my other garage, so had to improvise without wasting too much time. Um, but now, 
Like I said, I'm gonna go under there and try to separate the downpipe from the exhaust. I will say that there's a reason that I've had this downpipe for 10 months and I haven't installed it because that thing sucked to get out. I pretty much had to cut every bolt. So I cut the, the clamp that attaches the downpipe to the exhaust. I had to disconnect all the exhaust hangers on the backside. I had to, I broke two of the bolts off that mounted to the flange so so this is pretty much the way it sits in the car. This is the top, the bottom. I broke this bolt and the bottom bolt off. I had to cut through this side bolt to get it off. And you can see this top one here. I had to grind through it to get it off. Um, the bottom, the left, the two that I snapped off, I did from the bottom of the car. The right bolt, I cut it off from the bottom of the car with just an electric grinder. And then the top bolt I used, uh, a straight cutoff wheel, pneumatic one, because it's a smaller diameter, smaller body, so I was able to get it in there. Um, so I'd cut a little bit, use my mirror, stick it in there to see, cut a little bit, check, cut, check, cut, check, till they were all off. And then I spent the last 20 minutes trying to separate the exhaust from here. So what I had to do to do that was, before I cut that last bolt off on the uh, O2 housing, I went to the back, disconnected all those hangers, then I put a, took a hammer and kind of used it as a chisel to open up the diameter of the exhaust. That way it would relieve some of the pressure on the downpipe. Then I'd heat the flange and then I'd kick the exhaust because the exhaust comes back and makes like a, a hard 90. While I was kicking that portion right there, now that you it was low enough. Kicking it, heating the flange, kicking it, heating it, hammer it on it a little bit. And it was just enough for it to break free. So. Now that I got this out, I'm going to start working on the heat shield um, and all the bracketry there that I need to get off to get the O2 housing off. And then um, I'm going to take all the O2 sensors off and install them on the downpipe. Uh, I've got a wide band I've got to install on the new downpipe and then we'll uh, reassemble. Alright, a little update on what we got so far. I got the heat shield out. Uh, the little bracket that holds the supports the turbo and then I got the um, bracket that supports the O2 housing the last thing left is to actually remove the four bolts holding the O2 housing and then I can install all the new stuff so here we are under the car you can see the bracket that held that supported the O2 housing the bolt I had to cut it off the nut was all effed up um, and then the four studs broke obviously mounting the downpipe but other than that, everything came out. I won't say it came out easily, and I can't say I'd ever wanna do this again, but we're making progress. Uh, so I got one of the O2 housing bolts out. The whole stud came out, which it doesn't matter, I guess. I just got uh, to break the last three loose, and uh, we'll be ready to put the new stuff in. I finally got it out. I gotta say, this was like the worst downpipe I've ever done. Um, I've done long tube headers, downpipes, all, everything you could imagine I've done. This, in a combination with the downpipe, was the worst thing I've ever done. Well, now I wait for my new parts to get here, and then uh, we reinstall. All right, so currently I am working on chasing the threads for the studs to mount the O2 housing to the actual exhaust manifold. Um, when I went to remove the, uh, the, the nuts on the studs, the studs come out completely. So to get the nuts off, I actually had to cut through 
each nut individually. So one, two, three. Once I cut through them, I just stuck the screwdriver in a slit, rotated them and popped them off. And now uh, where the nuts were sitting, there's just corrosion there. So I'm chasing those threads. Um, gonna clean it all up, install the studs, and then I'm gonna install the O2 manifold, or O2 housing, excuse me. Alright, cool. So I got my wideband installed. Um, the the OEM O2 sensor, I cannot get it out of the stock cat. So for now I'm gonna run no downstream O2 sensor. Um, it's gonna give an engine light regardless because I'm deleting the cat. And then maybe tomorrow I'll pick up a new O2 sensor and install it. I just don't feel like fucking with that stupid thing. It uh, ended up stripping out and fuck it. I'll pay a hundred bucks for a new one. I don't give a shit. So, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bolt the turbo manifold support bracket on, and then the O2 housing support bracket on, and then we're going to uh, install the downpipe. I got the O2 housing completely installed, uh, support bracket is installed, um, the O2 housing bracket support, support bracket. All right, I got, fucking Jesus Christ, I can't get this shit straight at all. All right, so I got the O2 housing completely installed. I've got the exhaust manifold or turbo manifold uh, support bracket installed. And then I've got the O2 housing bracket installed. I'll take you under here, check it out real quick. And then I'm gonna start installing the actual downpipe itself. So, as you can see, not much to look at, but it's installed there, studs installed. Um, the only thing I had to replace, so that bolt all the way up at the top there. It's a, uh, I had to cut the nut off and replace it with a separate bolt. And then this bolt right there on the O2 housing support, I also had to swap it out because the other one I had to cut off. So now that that's all said and done, I'm gonna throw the gasket on here and uh, install the downpipe. Well, the downpipe's officially bolted to the O2 housing. Now, I've got to install the um, O2 sensor upstream, and then I've got to connect the exhaust on the backside and I'll be ready to start her. Alright, so I've got the downpipe installed. Um, the only things that I have left to do is the downstream O2 sensor. I've got to replace that. For now, it's just plugged. The clamp that clamps the downpipe to the rest of the exhaust. It slipped in there, but it's not clamped, so there might be a little leak there. And then the hangers. I got one of the three hangers reconnected. So. I'm going to set the camera back up exactly where I had it the first time I did the sound test with the stock down pipe and uh, we'll compare the two. When I edit it, I'll make sure that the volumes are set the same and you know there's nothing crazy going on with that so you get an authentic sound clip.
way louder. I fucks with it though. All right, so now that the neighbors are all really pissed off, I'm sure. Um, that sounds good. That sounds really good. I'm super happy with that. Um, all right, I got stuff everywhere. It's like 10 o'clock at night. I gotta be up tomorrow at 3 a.m. for work, so kind of fucked up. Still gotta go to the grocery store. <laughs> um, I will say, this is fucking terrible. This is the worst downpipe I've ever done.